We have a seven on your side consumer alert about uh, scammers who use Craigslist to dupe unsuspecting car shoppers out of their money. And we're learning tonight that a spate of these cases in Maryland may be linked. We asked Chris Van Cleve to look into the problem. Oof, I can't even begin to put into words how I feel, you know, it's just been terrible. Fella Osafati thought she paid this man, identifying himself as David Kirkland, more than 12 grand for this Honda Accord. Problem is, the guy selling it doesn't own the car, and all the documents he gave her are fake. The car actually belongs to a loan company, and her money is now gone. Why did I believe him? He just sounded very believable. It started with an ad on Craigslist offering a great price. Now Maryland authorities are investigating more than 10 similar cases that could be linked to Osafati's. The same type of scam got more than $2,500 out of Tracy Brown. I believe that when you're blessed with children, they become your responsibility to take care of. And I apologize to them frequently because I feel like I've let them down. She talked to us from her hospital bed, carrying triplets and close to delivering them several weeks early. A scammer sent her from Craigslist to this real looking eBay Motors site, but it's a fake. Brown thought she was buying a minivan for her little ones. And I worry about how I'm going to get to my doctor's appointments and I worry about how safe they will be without a vehicle. Police say these scams are not uncommon and the bad guys can be hard to catch. So buyers have to protect themselves before they put down the cash. To protect yourself, a buyer should research the seller's criminal history. You can go online and do that. Or you can go through a company which will research the car's history to find out just where that car has been. Some things to keep in mind. If it sounds too good to be true, it usually is. Now, if you're sent to a site online, make sure you've actually been sent to the real deal and not a fake like we saw in our story. And finally, if scammers try to get you to use Western Union, that is a big red flag. That service is for family and friends, not business transactions with strangers. Now, as for Brown, she really could use that minivan. She delivered her triplets. They were several weeks early and they're being cared for at GW's NICU. We wish them all the best. Chris Van Cleve, ABC 7 News. Mm, wow. Okay, Chris, thank you. Well, listen to this story. A good